Here's some highlights from day two of the Rapala Bass Australian Open on Somerset Dam. With live scoreboards running all day, apart from the last two hours, it was exciting watching the lead leapfrog. Chinchilla's Mick Johnson needed nearly every bit of his lead from day one to get the job done on day two. He caught four fish and they averaged under half of the size of the fish he caught on day one. Oh yeah, that's Harry's bank, yeah. Harry's. Yep. Yes. Oh, mate, this cameraman's on fire. <laughs> As it's legal, we'll take it. Get the rolling pin. And at this point, Mick needed one more fish to overtake Tommy Wood on the final scoreboard. Remember, the anglers can't see what's happening, so every fish could be the winning fish. It just happened, this one was. Yes! That's an expensive fish. <laughs> yes! Yes! Maybe! <laughs> He was the second of the three anglers having that epic battle at the top of the scoreboard. Tommy Wood from the Sunshine Coast, his first tournament as a boater in bass, and he got it done coming in second place. Here are some of his highlights from out on the water. Let's go. Number one, baby. He's all right. Oh, yeah. 34 maybe. Yeah. Finally. This is a good one. 
sounded like it. Yeah, baby! Woo! Oh, there you go. That's a chunky one. Let's go. Maybe. I hope so. Come on in, do easy. Right, sometimes the bigger ones do that. Yeah, it's really big head shake, so. Hey? Tom Slater was the best of the interstate anglers catching consistent bags every day and thanks to Steve Sutton for getting this action from out on the water. And showing how good the edge fishing was at Somerset, I caught all of my fish on crankbaits. Fish on. That was a good bite, that. It really thumped it a bit. Pulling it across that same point. Yellow belly. It's coming in pretty easy. Ooh, it feels like a bass. Yeah, it's a good bass. That's my biggest this weekend. That one. That's a big one. I think he's choked it. He has choked that crankbait. Down deep. <laughs> They're getting bigger, and he smoked that thing. He smoked it. Look at that. Down the pie hole, and he's low 40s. Before he ate it. So this is the cranking outfit that I've uh, finished on this weekend. This is the... Uh, Fate. Uh, I think this is one of the prototype rods, 13 fishing reel, 12 pound straight through fluorocarbon. This is a Rapala, uh, it's a, a Max Rap Fat Shad. I think they're discontinued, but they're a very good bony brim profile and uh, been concentrating on the rocks, the shallow rocks. So it has to be sort of broken up underneath. Um, there's fish. Oh, he's in a snag. Get out of that snag, mate. Get out of there. Come on, mate. Get out. And uh, fish have been lining up on those. So come on, mate, I can see him down there. I think he got off. Yeah, he just got off then. But uh, the bass have been lining up on these little points with the rocks on them, and uh, it's, fishing's got better and better as I've worked that out over the weekend. That fish was uh, only just legal. It wouldn't have been an upgrade, really. But I uh, got some nice fish this weekend. Some uh, 43 and a half fork has been the best so far. It swallowed the crankbait, it really wanted it. And uh, it's pretty cool to come to Somerset and catch some fish on something that's not in 30 foot of water. So everything's been in less than about eight foot all weekend. So I've loved it.
There he is. Right on that tree base. That might be an upgrade. Yep. That's upgrade number two for the day. In on the Rapala. They're liking it. So later this afternoon, this is the bait that's been doing all the damage. It's a the Rapala Max Wrap. Um, old bait, I don't know if they make them anymore, but uh, there's a tree here. It's got an eagle's nest in the top of it, and I'm just sort of throwing it and slow cranking it and twitching it under the tree, and they're eating it. Been smoked by one fish. Lost. I found another two fall off, and I've landed another three out of here. So as far as Somerset goes, this place on fire. Catch another one. There he is. Didn't pull too hard on him because I might pull him off. Don't think he's an upgrade, but it's about five fish off this tree now. Magic tree. I don't know if he's an upgrade, there's about a low 30s in there. Yeah, I'm not That's a good fish. Is that a toga? That looks like a Saratoga. I reckon it's a terror tiger. Come here, old bean. Jumping eel. Or is it a bass? I like it if it was a bass. Come at me, that's all. Wow, it's a big bass. A proper big bass. And he has choked on it. He has choked on it. That is a big bass. Come here, old mate. Come here, biggin. Come here, biggin. He's still green. That is a proper Somerset biggin on a crankbait. Come here, mate. Yeah! <laughs> that is a giant on the crankbait. Like the last few casts of the day. <laughs> the other end of the field, someone's doing this to win the open. But at this end of the field, I'm just trying to upgrade a few times. Came off a snag again. Check out this thing. It is a donkey. That is a true Somerset giant. <laughs> and the best place to catch it in the Rapala Bass Australian Open on a Rapala. Boom! That gets a big ruler. Liz Moore's Nick Anderson was as consistent as always, putting together two nice limits and rounding out our top ten. Fishing more. But um, you better do this. You'll go to That's 
an upgrade. Basson veteran Paul Aldis shot away to a great limit on day one, but struggled a little on day two and failed to fill out his limit. But as you can see, he did have his chances. And thanks to all of our observers, in this case, Mark Wally, for the great camera work. And this, Mitch Petty, 52 centimetres. Oh, here you go, Somerset. Just got an absolute weapon. Fifty two forker on a DT eight. Let it go. Oh my god. Each day, Brisbane's Keegan Painter was the first to a limit. He had those smaller fish shorted out but lacked the bigger fish to end up any higher in the field. He's a bobby. And for the winner of the final ABT qualifying event for the season, John Noble found it difficult at Somerset. He caught one fish each day, but at least they were quality.
Start day two. Yeah. Put guts on that fish. So healthy. And remember, for full coverage of this and all ABT Brim, Bass and Barrow events, visit the website which is www.abt.org.au.